In 1999, Idaho Life reporter John Miller took off in an RV from the southern border to the northern tip, made it all the way. A few days into his trip, he came upon a hole in the wall in eastern Idaho. Literally, a hole in the wall, chiseled into the mountainside near Salmon. Turns out, it was just one of the dozens. Built over a 50-year time span by a modern-day cave dweller, appropriately named Dugout Dick. Out in the center of central Idaho, almost in the middle of nowhere, somewhere in the middle of this mountainside, Dugout Dick is still digging away. What compels you to keep digging in here, Dugout Dick? Oh, I just looked. They said there was silver and copper. I had it tested. I figured they're going to hit it sometime, you know, but it seemed like it never has. Never since he started with a pick and shovel in 1948 has Dick struck anything in his cold, stony caverns, except the metal pin in his left hip. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got my And one brilliant realization. If there are no riches to be reaped from these rocky walls, this perhaps, at least, hole, I, there's rent. I just give up looking for gold and silver. I just make a house out of it. You used to, you used <laughs> to look for gold and silver in here, yeah, huh? Yeah, there's some in here, but it ain't worth digging, I figured. I said, hell, I'll just make a house out of it. And yep. that's what I've done. See, it's worth more for people to live in, it is to mine. That's why I figured. You make more off renting the place out, yeah, huh? Yeah, renting it out, yeah. And the price is right. Now nah, about $10 a month. $10 a month. Almost enough for some secondhand windshield windows and new iron hinges. And those cost how much? The iron hinges cost more than a house, really. <laughs> it's like one giant hotel. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> you got like a room here, you a room that over thing? there? You all see the hotel up here, I guess. Well, you got the hotel room up here. This oh. looks like the master suite up here. Yeah, huh? it's pretty good one up here. Yeah, OK. Let's take a pretty look. Big. So how far back are we in the cave right now, Dugout Dick? Well, about 100 feet back. 100 feet back yeah. in a cave? Yeah. How long do you think you're going to keep digging holes in mountains, dig well, up, Dugout Dick? Well, I got another hole. You'll see the other hole I got started. I got another one started. You got another hole? Yeah, started, yeah. Well, we better go check that one out, huh? That's a big one, too. It's an altogether irresistible image. This grizzly, bearded, hard hat wearing, arthritis fingered, guitar picking, greasy handed mining man who's mulled his way into this mountain. Even mugged for a page in National Geographic once. With fame comes fortune, thus Dick's latest discovery. So this would be high technology here, huh? Yeah. Electricity. Sometimes. What you drilling for? Oh, I don't know what the hell, just making a house. And making a living, or at least a living space. If there aren't real riches in this real estate, Dugout Dick is content to keep on looking. Are good enough. I'd say he found it. You know, he lived without real electricity for like 51 years. Dugout Dick died in 2010 at the age of 94. He lived pretty well. In 2012, the Bureau of Land Management filled in a dozen of his caves with lava rock, claiming the caves had become a safety risk. <laughs>